Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show you how you can access students' Gmail, um, uh, the recent Gmail, and also how you can access students' Google Drive files other than the file that was created by simply being in this class. So any other files that they have uh, created you can also access. So go to teacherdashboard.com, come to my class, I see my dashboard, and as we uh, spoke about previously, you can see in this AP Language and Composition uh, Google Drive folder in their documents, not many students have files. You can see to do. So, uh, which means that they haven't been using this folder, which is fine. If I want to see what they've done uh, in other folders or throughout their Google Drive, I simply come up here to the sharing link. And once it gets finished loading, I can see that it shows me all of the students' documents. So right now it's showing me five, their most recent uh, documents that they modified. If I come up here to the right, I can change it from five items, I can go to 15, I can go all the way up to 25. So I can see the last 25 documents that they've worked with. I'm gonna keep it at five. And I can come in here now and I can open any one of these documents that the students worked on. So I'll come down, I'm gonna go to Natalie, and let's say I wanna look at uh, her persuasive speech. Um, what's nice is I can see who it was last modified by if someone other than themselves. I can also see the last time it was updated. So it was three weeks ago and one day. If I wanna open that, And I'll click allow to allow me. I can now see the document that Natalie wrote. Okay. So I can go in here and I have full access to modify this document. But what's really nice is I can just come up here. If I wanted to, I could insert a comment. And as a teacher, I could do great job, Natalie. Click on comment. And now when Natalie comes back in here, she can see that I highlighted her name. Great job, Natalie. Maybe there's something in there uh, punctuation-wise that you want to highlight and put a, a comment in there or something you want to um, reinforce that they did well or something that you might want to uh, steer them in the opposite direction. So if I close this, Natalie now has those comments in her documents. Let's say... For example, I want to search for something. So I can search student content. I can search in the title, and then it all, also has all text. So if I just want to search because I think the kids named it something specific, I can search for the title. If I want to search for all text because I don't know that they named it um, correctly or they, they didn't name it in something that is specific to that content, I can search all content and I can simply type whatever I wanted. And if it's in any of their documents, those documents will appear, okay? So I'm gonna go back out of the search and I'm gonna look at these document or these icons at the top here. So the first one is unshared. So anything that they have not shared will be in the unshared uh, icon. Anything that they've made public, if I click on this public icon, it will show me that they published it or um, somehow they've changed the setting so that it's public for everyone to see. I can look at external. I can see if anybody uh, has shared anything outside of our district, outside of our domain with the students. And then I can look at all docs. So all docs would encompass all of these unshared public external links. I'm going to change this to five again. I can also look in the trash. So maybe they can't find something and they didn't know to go look in the trash or maybe you're searching for something and you think it may be in the trash. I can go look in the trash and I can find anything, any recent documents that they uh, may have trashed. And again, I can still go up to the search and do all those types of things. So you can see 
very handy to go in and be able to see what the students are working on, what they have worked on in the past, go in, look at these, edit them, comment on them, uh, and give feedback to the students. The next thing I'd like to show you in this video is Gmail. So when I click on their Gmail, I get these icons again below it. I have inbox, sent, and I have trash. You can see it goes in alphabetical order, or um, I'm sorry, it goes in um, chronological order. The most recent email they've sent or received. And um, you can then click on this. And if I click, and I'll go down here again to Natalie. I click on this, it will show me the content of the message. So maybe they said that they sent you something and you can't find it, so you want to go in and look in their, their Gmail to see if they received it. That would be the, the inbox is if they received it. The sent mail would be, okay, so you said you sent me something. Let's go look in your sent mail. It's going to load. And it's going to be anything that they have sent recently. And again, it's going to go in chronological order. I can open that up and I can view the message. I can look in the trash. Maybe they said they sent me something, but they weren't aware that they trashed it. Well, I can go in and I can look in their trash. And if it is somewhat recent, I will be able to see what they sent um, or what they sent or received uh, that they trashed either purposely or, or accidentally. Again, I can go in and search and uh, for the student content and it will pull up anything that is related to my search. Okay, so we have sharing and Gmail. Great way to get in to see what's going on in uh, your students' Google Lives um, to see what documents they're working on and or uh, what messages they are sending, receiving, and trashing. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, please contact the tech department and we would be happy to help.